Hello, males from 25 to 34 years old, according to YouTube Analytics. Here I am back again with yet another tech video for you guys. Uh, by the way, if you are not from 25 to 34 years old, you know, you might put that down in the comments because if that's actually my entire group of watchers, then that's, that's honestly kind of sad. But anyway, let's get on to the video. Before we can start on the video proper, I'm going to have to tell you a little bit, a little story about why I'm here and how I got here. So it all started, you know, a couple months or so ish from today when I made my second video ever and also my most popular video called Stream Your Games From Anywhere. It was about, you know, streaming your games front to your tablet or laptop or whatever, really, just whatever. But I started wondering, is there a better way to do this? I, I was using the Steam Link, Steam Link app, and I was like, is there a better one? I don't know. So I started looking, I started looking, and helpfully enough, one of my commenters called T-Tow, T-Tow, T-E-T-O-W, um, we got into a little bit of conversation in the YouTube comments, and he told me this thing about Rainway. He said he wasn't going to make a video on it. I asked him just to make sure, because I don't like stealing people's ideas. So I was like, huh, let's compare this to Steam Link and see how it is. And that's how we got here, and that's why I'm making this video today. And so let's get into the actual video. Okay, so if you want to use Rainway, the first thing you'll have to go do is go to rainway.com slash gaming and install the dashboard. Oh, that's the wrong page. Click get Rainway, download now. It'll just, just save it. Um, double click this to install it. It'll go through all the steps itself. You don't even have to mess with it. I already have it installed, so don't even have to do that. So now open it up. should greet you with a message like, let's get started. So I'll enter my email. Um, since I'm already, since I already have an account, I'll just enter my password. It'll instruct you to create a new password if um, you do not already. Okay, so then it should prompt you about like putting things in from Steam or something like that, but uh, that's pretty simple. Okay, so now we got the dashboard here. You know what I like about Steam Link? If you have Steam, you're good. You don't need to install anything additional. And if you're like me, you have most, if not all of your games on Steam. So that's how you get the dashboard. If you want to tweak the settings, go to settings. It's my account. You can mess with this stuff. Network, Windows settings, language, experiments, this kind of stuff. So that's easy enough to use. If you don't have your thing paired, you can click add a device. Oh, and speaking of which, you know, to get it on your device, all you have to do is go to um, like Play Store or whatever, play.google.com. Just go to the Play Store on your device or, I, or the App Store, App Store. So easy enough, just search Steam, just search Rainway. Rainway, it's right there. We're on here, just search Rainway. I mean, obviously you'd be doing this in an app, not not in the browser because, but I don't, I don't wanna take the trouble of pulling out my tablet right now. So anyway, easy enough, got this installed. Click, click add a device and enter the code on your thing, whatever it shows you, click add a device. Just to show you, it, you can scan the barcode or enter the code here on your device if, if you have the app open. So as I said for Steam Link, just have Steam open, easy. Easy enough and it'll just work. So, okay, now let's go on to what the features of each of them are. So 
So what do I like about Steam Link? What do I like about Rain May? So Steam Link has much better touch controls. Let's just get to my desktop here. Nice background. Steam Link has much better touch controls. Like orders of magnitude better. Customizable, just awesome. Um, that's also native Steam controller support. That's my controller I use, so that's nice. Um, Rainway, what does it have going for it? It's got a slightly nicer UI, I guess. If you like the dashboard look versus the big picture Steam big picture mode look, it's only like one step to get to the desktop instead of two. If you want to, you know, just remote into your computer rather than play any games. Otherwise. On the feature side of things, I do not see anything that would recommend it to me more than Steam Link, which is just, you know, built into Steam. Nothing extra I have to do. So now, I mean, it's obvious to you that just for features, I prefer Steam Link. But now let's look at some like actual gameplay on each of these streaming softwares, and I'll let you decide for yourself. <laughs> Okay, so first let's look at Rainway. So here's Chuck, he's my farmer. This is a rather advanced world. So I hope there's no spoilers, I don't think there are. But first of all, you know what I was saying about those touch controls? That is the standard thing you get for every game if you want to use touch controls. That's all you get. Um, this looks a little bit worse than it probably is because I just hate touch controls. But the first thing you'll notice off the bat is how terrible the color accuracy is. This is actually terrible. I can't, I don't want to look at this for I don't want to look at this, let alone play with this. But as you can see, lag, lag's not too bad. It's fine. It's a little bit choppy. It's definitely playable. But I hate that color accuracy. Second of all, this is another thing. This may or may not concern you. Maybe you like this, maybe you don't. But Rainway matches the output of your screen to what you're gonna to the output of your tablet. Steam Link does not do that, as I will show you later. The first thing you can tell is the color accuracy is so much better, like unbelievably better actually. The touch controls are also nicer, very much more usable for me personally. It does not match the output resolution of your tablet to your PC, but I personally like it that way, that's just a, my personal preference. But the main thing is the color accuracy. As for lag, you're getting about the same thing, maybe slightly nicer, maybe slightly worse, it's hard to tell. You've also got these nice touch controls. Wow, what am I talking? I, I just keep saying the touch controls because those are important to me. So as you can see, everything looks beautiful. I'm walking around in the winter. You can, there's there's very little discernible lag. It's almost like native, but not quite. You can tell, you can tell, but it's not bad. I would play like this any day if I had to. So you can tell there's like little lag spikes happening occasionally. I'm just walking around here. Everything looks good. It's got like that 1080p resolution. Um, here's the community center. I'm gonna go inside here. Boom, 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 boom. Again, I'm bad with touch controls no matter how good they are. So if this looks bad, a little lag spike there, you saw. Um, now, here's the, like the real, real test of how bad the lag is. So if you look at how I swing my sword in a second, it looks good, it looks smooth, it looks kind of buttery, kind of nice, but not perfect because no matter how good your internet connection is, you're never gonna get quite perfect. And my internet connection is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah, it's actually kind of bad. My tablet has bad internet, my PC has Wi-Fi, but good Wi-Fi. Um, that's just how it is. It's how it's always gonna be. But anyway, that's that's Steam Link. That is Rainway. When I come back in a second, I'm gonna tell you what my personal opinion is. Okay, so it's actually a day later since I recorded the last part yesterday. But here are my opinions on the battle between Steam Link versus Rainway. Cue that epic sounding music. Okay, so in my opinion, Steam Link wins all the way. 
Um, colors actually are good looking. Better resolution. Um, equal or even better uh, lag. I mean, it just wins all the way. Better touch controls, better integration with Steam, if you're into that. Also, you can do non-Steam games with it as well, so it's not like a big deal. It's just slightly, slightly harder. So, that's my opinion. Steam Link wins. No contest. I mean, obviously, you should form your own opinion based on this, based on um, what you saw in this video. But that's what I'm going to say. I recommend Steam Link. I do not recommend Rainway. Who knows, maybe something that's better than both of them will come along. I will make another video on that if it happens. So yeah, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a great day. Um, bye.